All right, so flipping houses has been really fun lately for a lot of people. Seems like it's picking up again in the amount of people that really want to start flipping houses and are back out talking about it. I think that the number one thing is run a comparative market analysis. Just remember, you make money when you buy. Myself, I made my money in real estate sales. Then I took that money, put it into investment real estate, and then I do flips. Now, when I do these flips, I always run my market analysis and I see what can the property be worth when I'm done. If, you, if you're doing an addition or you're changing walls, I wouldn't really go crazy with that. Try to keep it basic. Try to keep it to where you're not breaking down walls and find houses with nice layouts just for you to be able to clean them up. So run a comparative market analysis. Make sure you have good numbers. The other thing is analyze market trends. Are you gonna be putting the house on in the winter? Are you gonna be putting the house on in the summertime? Are the interest rates favorable? Are you gonna to have to adjust the price based on um, you know, what part of the market or where you're doing the flip and different things like that. And then the last thing I would do is just consult local experts. Myself, I happen to have the experience of selling over 500 houses. So I kind of have an understanding of values and what we could do and where the opportunities are in different areas. But Overall, I think it's a great opportunity if you get into flipping or if you have money that you want to invest in a renovation project or if you just have houses that you might want to sell. At the end of the day, we've had one where we made over 90000 we made over 100000 One I miscalculated and I still made about $20,000. So I think that for most of these flips, you just have to be really calculated, be careful, Try not to be um, overly excited and, and see this opportunity that's just not there. So just be calculated. And usually what I like to do is my end number that I come up with after I resell the property, I drop that by about 5% just to give myself an extra little cushion. If you have a house that you want to sell, I would be willing to look at it to buy. And if you want to do flips on your own, I would suggest you just follow these rules.